YouTube recently introduced this section called the For You section. This is a place where people get to see videos on your channel that uh, they may not have seen before and YouTube thinks that they should be interested in the videos. So yeah, as you can see, if I keep clicking here, you'll see some of the videos on my channel that YouTube thinks I should be interested in watching. This is an entirely different section from the videos on your channel. So if I check the videos on my channel, you'll see that, uh, yeah, this is the latest video on my channel. But if I go back to the home section, then you see that from the for you section, the first video here is about um, different virtual dollar cards that I've reviewed in the past. So a lot of people have voiced out their opinion about this for you section. Some people don't like it. Some people do like it. And um, for me, I think I haven't tested it enough to know if it is good or bad. So I'm going to leave it for now. But in this video, I'll be showing you how to deactivate it if you don't want to have it anymore. Okay, so in order for you to remove this section, you have to be the owner of the channel. You cannot do it for channels that you don't have control over. So to do this, you need to head over to studio.youtube.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Just log into your YouTube channel. And then you come down here. You go to customization. Click it. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll see the section that says for you. So you can get to deactivate it from here. For now, I'll just click more settings so we can see the rest of the settings that are there. All right, so you have all these content types here. If you want live streams to be part of the list here, then you can enable live streams. If you want shorts as well, enable shorts. If you only want videos, then you pick videos. You can select all of them to keep everything there. You can see over here there are some options so if you select this one youtube is only going to choose the content that it believes that um, people are interested in watching and if you select recent content only then it's going to show content that you published published in the past 12 months so all right so that's all for the settings close i'll close this so if you want to deactivate it you just need to click here and then you click publish so that's how you do it on pc now i'm going to show you how to do it on your phone so on your phone, you want to access the YouTube Studio app. If you haven't started using it yet, I'll leave a link to it in the description for Android devices. If you use an iOS or iPhone, then you go to your app store and download the app. Okay, so after opening the app, you want to tap on your profile picture at the top right corner. Then you see this pencil icon, so just tap it. And then if you scroll down, maybe you don't have to scroll down, but at the bottom, you're going to get the option to disable it. So if you just tap here, then you see that it has been turned off. Remember, I did not save it on the computer. So now if I switch back to the computer, remember I just saved it on the phone. And if I refresh this, you can see that the for you section is gone. So for now, like I said, I'm going to leave it activated. So I'll just activate it here on my phone. On the phone with the studio app, you will not be able to customize it. Like you will not be able to choose if you want like live streams or shorts or just normal videos. But you can do that if you visit the studio page on your phone, like the studio.youtube.com. So that's about it. If you guys found the video helpful, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. Like the video if you found it helpful. And yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.